Hi guys, <laughs> I feel like new in this business, in this YouTube business because it has been long and a lot of things has been going on for the past three weeks now which I'm going to share with you guys in this channel. Why am I writing in the beginning of the video? Don't mind me guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello guys, welcome back. How are you guys doing? Trust God you are doing great. If you are not, please be better. Go to the hospital to know that it was what is wrong with you you are an amazing just keep yourself happy and do exactly what you are asked to do have enough rest and you are always in my prayers okay as for me and my family we are doing great guys a lot of things has been going on guys i have a lot to talk about but in today's video i just want to introduce the new bundle of joy in our family in case if you are new here i just had my third baby so i just want to introduce the baby to you guys show you guys the face how the baby looks like review the name and also the gender because i didn't do that um in my previous video reason best knows known to me and i just want to do that right away if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jessica Oinichi, and I'm trying to YouTube based on Spain with my lovely, beautiful family. If you love what you are seeing already, already consider subscribing by hitting the bell icon. And uh, so let's offer it to notify anytime I upload new video. For my old subscribers, thank you guys always for coming back to check on our videos. For taking me to my final destination. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. So guys, hmm, I have a lot to say guys, but let me start by appreciating God. Thanking him because he has done much in my family, most, most especially in this pregnancy. <sighs> guys, I knew I didn't show much when I was pregnant for this baby because, um... I didn't I didn't even have much to share you know I heard that pregnancy comes with I know not that I heard that I know that pregnancy comes with a lot of symptoms a lot of sickness and each stages comes with a lot of drama and all that I have had three pregnancy if you are new in this channel and the third pregnancy they had their own differences and all that from um, the first one second one and third one but in this third one, guys, from the day that I knew I was pregnant, there's no symptoms of anything, guys. I'm not lying. No morning sickness, no nausea, no um, no sleepless nights, um, no more, no pains, nothing, nothing. Just normal. I feel like normal. Just that my tummy is growing and all that and all that and there are some stages that where you wanted to the way you want to sleep the baby will not allow you to sleep that way that's the only challenges that i had in that pregnancy in this pregnancy so guys i'm not i'm not lying if you're a mom you can if you have experienced that guys share it that drop your comments on the comment section because i feel it feels strange what what now you don't want me to introduce you it's okay it's okay so it's um it surprises me anytime i remembered um the way the everything happens and before you know it from the day i knew i was pregnant before you know it the baby is here guys before as an i don't even i don't even know i don't even know whether this baby reached nine months but i know that it reached nine months but to show you guys how the time fasting and all that I don't know whether it's because um the second one was not up to um one year she was he was um nine months or there about eight months before i got pregnant for this baby i don't know whether that's um that what makes it to be fast and all that but i don't know i don't know just that i just want to appreciate god and uh, also appreciate you guys the little one that i shared and beginning of the pregnancy and all that you guys has been there encouraging me and all that and i really appreciate it guys so like i said i just want to review the face the name of the baby and also the gender of the baby and uh, 
here is the baby yeah look look here look here baby what are you looking at look here good yay let them see you good here is the face of the baby yay <laughs> and the gender is a girl <laughs> Yeah, is a baby girl. Yeah, is a baby girl. Yeah, is a baby girl. Yeah, and the name is Sophia Chidalu. Chidalu means that's Igbo dialect. It means thank God because God has been awesome in this pregnancy, guys. I don't even know if there is another um <laughs> name to appreciate god for the good things he has done most especially in this pregnancy i could have preferred her but i just want to name her chidao i'm the one that named her all the um babies the both the first one and the second one that i had it was my husband that named them but this particular one i said i must name this baby and that's why i named her sophia chidao because god has been there for me I don't even know that I was pregnant. There are some certain things that I do, and I will be like, do you still remember that you are still pregnant? And at the end of the day, you will, feel, you, see, you will still see yourself being strong and all that. Couple with you have toddlers, and the one that is not up to a year old, you'll be there um, nurturing them and also nurture the one on your tummy. And the day of the delivery was the quickest and the fastest um delivery that i had guys i'm not lying although the pregnancy started um around 10 30 a.m but you know um it wasn't coming regularly and all that i was still bearing it and doing other things coupled with that day i have an appointment i had an appointment with um, my son's um documents of it in this um Spain we are so I can't we can't postpone that although if you want we can but that particular uh, appointment you have been seeking for it for over um five months then I gave us that day so I can't risk it I just go there a couple with um they knew that I was in labor they just um attend to us and all that and we went to the hospital we went there around um around eight and they just admitted us tell, telling me that I'm in labor they just um don't text on me and also tell me that I'm in labor that they have to admit me so I was there they just gave me um big said that I should stay there and be doing some exercise that I'm still in 3CL, that I'll give birth the next day, being 28th of October. We were there at 27th. So the doctor told me that after they checked me, she told me that I'll give birth the next day, that I should be in that room, just be doing exercise, if there is anything that I should call them and all that. And she also showed me the exercise that I'll be doing. So I was there just pressing my phone, you know, normal contraction. Sometimes it comes eight minutes, sometimes it was seven minutes, sometimes it will go back to ten, sometimes fifteen minutes, you know. So I was there tracking the whole thing, and my husband was there tracking the whole thing. So it reached to the point that I cannot bear the pain. It was coming five, five minutes, four minutes, and all that. So I told my husband that he should call them all. That, and also I was feeling to vomit, and I knew through the um, previous pregnancy immediately i vomit it will not reach five minutes i will deliver so to that experience i was telling my husband that i'm i want to vomit and all that he should call them that this baby will not even reach the next day they were talking about and that time it was around um, 11 a.m so when hobby called them they now came and took me to the labor room they checked me and also said the same thing and um, but meanwhile they said it will maybe it will not reach the next day even if it will reach it will not be that too far and um if they checked and they find out that the baby is not coming that they will induce me and all that so i was like these people don't know that i'm in 
uh, that this baby will not reach. I was saying it in my mind, though, that this baby will not reach the next day. And I was even telling my husband. My husband was saying, amen, amen. So we were there, and she checked again, you know. There were many that they were checking. This person will check your temperature. This person will check your BP. And they were checking so many things. So the last person that came to check something, after checking, because she was asking me whether I want epidural and all that. And I said, no, that I don't want. So she was there, and what is it, my love? So she was there, and I told her that um, that I can't bear the pains and again, and she was in, in encouraging me and all that, and also said that if I want to push, that I should push, because I was telling her that I want to push. She said if I want to push, I should push. So she was there, and the contraction now came again, and I pushed only once, guys, only once. The head is out. I was like, what the hell? Because I know what I passed through in previous pregnancy. And this one was just once. She just said that if you want to push, you push. If it asks you to push, your mind said that you should push, you should push. So I said, let me push. Because after vomiting, I knew that <laughs> that's the end of it. So after vomiting, I now push once the baby is out. Is it not, is it not a miracle? Is it not awesome? I pushed the bed. The nurse was like, I don't know what that is. Nurse or doctor. She was like, I should wait. I should wait. Let her wear her hand glove. You know, couple with I wasn't hearing their language and all that. My husband said that I should stop. That she said that she said I should stop pushing. That I should wait and let her wear her hand glove and all that. And she's the only one there, couple with um my husband and all that. So she now wear her hand glove and I said that I should push again. And that one wasn't pushed. She just grab the head and bring the baby out and that's it that's why i named her chidalo thank god that he did marvelous in my eyes and i will also um appreciate him for what he has done <laughs> so guys that is it for this video just to review the name and uh, show you the baby face and for you guys to welcome the baby in this channel because definitely you guys are going to be seeing her on this channel and thank you guys so so much for your congratulating message i really appreciate your um love towards this channel i thank you guys so so much and guys thank god for me oh and also grab this blessing in the comment section and i'm also using this medium to um encourage those that are looking for fruit of womb or those that are in labor or those, or those that are, are still um, pregnant that I'm using my baby as a point of contact. That I, as for the fact that I push one, you are going to push once and you will see your baby out. And if you are looking for fruit of womb, I'm using this bundle of joy to tell you that it shall be well with you. It is well with you. Whatever you seek for, you shall have it. Just go to the hospital to know whether you are medical okay. And if you are, just remove it in your mind. Just remove anything out of um, having fun and having do the do with your husband. And just do it that you want to do it. Don't do it because you want to have children. Just have fun doing it if it is possible. I know it will be hard for you to remove it in your mind. But if you can, just remove it and do what makes you happy. You will see it in the new um in no distant time you have your baby, but you are putting it in your mind all the time and doing the do because you want to have the baby. You have the the pressure and all that. When you have pressure, it will be difficult for you to and all that. But for the fact that there is God, you shall have your baby, and those that are pregnant, you shall have like me that push only once the baby is out. You shall. There will be no any complications and all that. Thank you guys so so much, and always remember to treat someone the way you under, the way you want others to treat you. Till I see you again on my next video. Remember, bless guys. Bye, Chidalo. Say bye, Chi baby. Say bye, guys. Say baby. Say bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye, everyone.